Charlie Casserly is an analyst for NFL Network. And a long time ago, before he was ever a sports broadcaster, he was a 10-year, had a 10-year career as the Washington Redskins senior vice president and general manager. From the years of 1989 to 1999, he was the Redskins general manager. He also was the general manager of the Houston Texans from 2000 to 2006. He got a job as a sportscaster after that working for CBS. Now he's a sportscaster for NFL Network. Now, Charlie Casserly said something that made a lot of people very, very angry. He was talking about Kyler Murray, the former Oklahoma quarterback, the guy who won the Heisman Trophy last year, and a potential number one overall pick in the NFL draft. Charlie Casserly reported that three or more teams met with Kyler Murray during the interview process of the NFL Combine, and they left having a lot of concerns. They, said they felt like Kyler Murray had leadership issues. They thought he had bad study habits. They didn't like what he put on the chalkboard when they had him draw up offensive schemes on the whiteboard. They said it was really, really bad. And, and the quote that Charlie Casserly gave, he said that what he heard about Kyler Murray was the worst comments he'd ever gotten from a high-rated quarterback. That's bad. That's concerning. That's not good. You don't want to hear that. And understandably, people got very very upset. People felt like Kyler Murray was getting a personal attack. Understandably, right? That's, that's a very, to call someone a poor leader is very, very personal. Now, uh, I, I really don't think hating Charlie Casserly is the right thing here. A lot of people are very mad at Charlie Casserly. This is not his fault. The guy, I think, was just doing his job. He's reporting what he was told. Teams told him this. It's his job to say, here's what teams told me. Again, he's doing his job. Uh, I actually, I wouldn't bash Charlie Casserly. If you don't like him, that's fine. But he actually said that, Charlie Casserly said this. He said what he saw on film from Kyler Murray was really, really good. So Charlie Casserly's analysis of Kyler Murray is like, is saying this guy's a good quarterback. But he reported that he was told, the things that Charlie Casserly was told were really bad. Like, I, I got to acknowledge this. I, I heard... You know, you heard the interview process with that. He has to say, I have to acknowledge, hey, this was not good. But who knows what really happened? Nobody really does. It's very possible that teams were lying to Charlie Casserly, trying to get a false narrative out there. Because at this time of the year, around the NFL draft, you can't trust anything that anybody says. All the teams are vying to get an edge on each other, manipulating people, releasing false narratives. Who knows if Josh Rosen's actually going to trade it at all? You never know. Nothing you can believe at this time of the year is very valid. You can't trust anything. Charlie Casserly said what he was told, and maybe teams lied about that. Maybe teams are trying to paint a narrative that Kyler Murray is not a good quarterback so that he falls in the NFL draft and they can pick him up later in the draft. It's also possible that Kyler Murray just had a bad interview. Like, it is possible he didn't do well. I think it's interesting. Everybody's comparing Kyler Murray and Baker Mayfield. And I've said before, that's not a great comparison. They're different people with different, they're very different. Despite the fact that their stats are similar, they came from the same college, they both won the Heisman Trophy. When you watch Baker Mayfield, because of his leadership style, he's very brash, he's very bold, he's loud, it's very obvious exactly who Baker Mayfield is. He's like Braveheart. He's out there in the open, it's very clear who he is. Kyler Murray's not as big a personality as Baker Mayfield is. It's harder to read Kyler Murray. He's very quiet. I've watched interview after interview. He did a thing with the, the barstool guy, like a pizza review. He's just deadpan. Like, it's boring. And no offense to Kyler Murray, but your interviews are horrible. You're very, very boring and not enjoyable to listen to. I would far rather get a beer with Baker Mayfield than Kyler Murray. Now, that has nothing to do with anything, but my point is this. It's hard to read who Kyler Murray is. If you haven't met him, if you haven't spent time with him, he comes across as a very bland, uninteresting person. Uh, that's not his fault. That's who he is. I'm sure, actually, Tom Brady is a has a similar way. My point is this. Unless you've been around him, you don't know what he's actually like. Nobody, his teammates and his coaches, those are the people who know how good of a leader Kyler Murray is. Whether he's good or bad, they've been around him. They've interacted with him. The people that have been around Kyler Murray are the only people that really know who he is. Now, Kyler Murray's head coach, Lincoln Riley, vehemently defended him. He was very, very adamant. He said, 
Kyler Murray is a tremendous leader. And then he said, watch the tape. If you don't think Kyler Murray understands defenses, Lincoln Riley would tell you, watch the film. The guy can clearly read a defense. And I, again, I want to re repeat this. The people who told Charlie Casserly, these were not Charlie Casserly's thoughts. This is not his opinion. He's regurgitating what people told him. And the people that told Charlie Casserly they had bad interviews could have very easily been lying. Again, that's what happens this time of year. But it's also possible Kyler Murray met with teams that had, how already have quarterbacks. Maybe they met with the Eagles or they met with the Vikings. The Vikings are not going to draft Kyler Murray. Maybe that's who the team, maybe, maybe it's a team that already has a quarterback and Kyler Murray knew going into the interview, there is a 0% chance this team is drafting me. Why should I invest? If you remember last year in 2017 around the NFL draft, there was a report that Baker Mayfield had a horrendous interview with the LA Chargers. He said they didn't take it seriously. He didn't study the playbook. It rubbed them the wrong way. But that's because there was no chance Baker Mayfield was ever going to get to the LA Chargers. He didn't take it seriously because why would he? It would have been a waste of his time. I don't know that that's the right mindset or not. I think you want to impress everybody you interact with. But it's possible Kyler Murray had a bad interview because he didn't take it seriously. It's just possible. Now, I also want to repeat this, that I want to make it clear. Lincoln Riley, Kyler Murray's former college football head coach, that's not really a good source of information. No matter what he actually believes about Kyler Murray, he has to defend his quarterback because he's got recruits to please later. He can't throw Kyler Murray under the bus because it would hurt him in recruiting later down the road. Is Kyler Murray a good leader? I have no idea, and neither do you, neither do I, unless you've met Kyler Murray. Unless you've been on the same team as Kyler Murray, you can't know what kind of leader he really is. You can, you can if, if you've been in an interview room with him, you can say, ha, he doesn't have a lot of presence. He's not a big, strong personality. But you don't necessarily have to be a huge, strong personality to be a quarterback. I don't, I don't think so, like, right? Not everybody is the man all the time. Maybe Kyler Murray has a really good work ethic. He does all the small things right. He leads by example. He calls people out when they need to. But being loud does not make you a leader. I, I think leadership is influence. It can be good. It can be bad. If Kyler Murray has influence with the people around him, if people follow him, and if Kyler Murray is a positive influence on the people around him, that would make Kyler Murray, therefore, a good leader. So I, that, that's my take on leadership. I don't know whether Kyler Murray is a good leader or not. The point is this. Unless you've been around him, you have no idea. But Kyler Murray's accomplishments speak for themselves. Watch his game film. He looks really good. I got a video coming out very soon, a breakdown of Kyler Murray's game film. I like what I see. His accomplishments, Heisman Trophy, that's 10 people want a Heisman Trophy. That doesn't mean that Kyler Murray, because of the Heisman Trophy, is necessarily going to be a great NFL quarterback. But he threw for 5,000 yards. He throws the ball really well. He made a lot of good reads. I like what I see from Kyler Murray. And I think if you're not sure whether he understands defenses, watch the tape. How does he process defenses? It's all there for you to watch. I, I don't know. We don't know what happened in that interview in the multiple interviews, we don't know. We don't know if the people are lying. We have no idea. If you're not in the room, and if you haven't been around Kyler Murray, you have no idea. But I, I really would not hate Charlie Casserly. That's the point here is Charlie Casserly was doing his job. He reported what people told him. That is exactly what he's supposed to do. You can be mad. You don't have to like what he said. But I think it's silly to hate Charlie Casserly, a guy who was just doing his job. My name is Zach Schaumler. This is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports. It is my favorite thing in the entire world. And I, I want to I ask for your help. I want this show to grow. I want more people to watch and more people to listen to this podcast. My dream is to do this show as my full-time job. I want to own it myself. I want to do it on the internet and have complete control. I don't want to do it for CBS or ESPN. I don't want to work for a big network. I want to own it myself. And if you believe in that dream, please do me a huge favor Help me grow by telling your friends about this podcast. Share it on Facebook, share a link on Twitter, maybe you screenshot it, put it on Instagram. I, I, I don't have a marketing strategy beyond this. This is all I have. You know, a lot of people, one of the most common comments I get on YouTube is, you have great content. We love your stuff. You deserve more viewers. What you should do is you should buy ad spaces on Facebook or Twitter or promote yourself and buy, buy, revenue, like buy ads. 
I have no money. I am a broke college kid. I, I can't buy ad spaces. I, 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 don't have, I don't have money to pay for books. And so my plan, this is my marketing plan. This is my strategy. All I plan to do is put every ounce of effort I have into making the very best podcast I can. I believe if I make a great product that people believe in, that people like, then they will share it with their friends. And so if you agree with that, if you believe in the show, if you like what I do, please do me a huge favor. Tell your friends about it. Help me grow by telling your friends about this podcast.